In this segment, we're going to explore a baby backbend known as Bhujangasana in Sanskrit. This translates to mean cobra pose. All backbends are energizing in nature and they're great for relieving tension and knots from the neck, the traps, and the levators. So Natalie here is going to demonstrate this very safe and accessible backbend for you. We're gonna start off, yeah, you can place your arms just uh, by your sides. The hands are directly underneath the shoulders and just come all the way down for a moment, Natalie. I want you guys at home to see how her shoulders are rolling forward here. And what I want Natalie to do is to take her shoulders up towards her ears, perfect, then up towards the ceiling, and then all the way down her back. Okay, so you can see how the shoulders almost moved in a circular fashion. This is to create strength and stability through the upper and mid back and shoulder girdle area. From here, begin to lift your chest up using only your upper back muscles. So her hands are on the floor, her fingers are spread, but she's not actually applying any weight down into the hands. It's almost as if she's trying to hold a pencil between her shoulder blades. Now I'll have Natalie tuck her chin in and back a little bit. We've got a little horseshoe shaped bone here called the hyoid bone. And what I want you to do rather than reaching your chin up and out is to tuck the chin in and think of lifting from the back of the neck, drawing the front of the body up from the hyoid bone. Okay, if you can continue to hold there for a few moments, Natalie, you're just taking normal, even breaths. I wanna talk for a moment about what's going on in her abdomen and her legs. Now, sometimes what we do to create lift is we actually distend the belly into the floor. I want you to pull your belly button away from the floor. So keep the core strong. Tuck your tailbone under a little bit so that the pubic bone is pressing into the floor. And then engage the fronts of your thigh muscles, firm them up so that your kneecaps lift away from the mat. Finally, spread all of your toes and try to click your toenails into the floor. So you guys can see there's a lot going on in this pose, more than meets the eye. If Natalie's still feeling good here, are you okay, you don't need a rest? <laughs> she can begin to apply pressure down into the palms. It's almost pushing the hands down and forwards to create more of a lift. She's breathing normally, she's checking in with how her back feels. If everything feels good, she can come up a little bit higher, keeping the low belly drawn in and the legs firmly engaged. Take a couple more breaths here. You've done a beautiful demonstration, Natalie. And then slowly lower all the way down. Think of coming down vertebra by vertebra. Once you've reached the floor, you can apply pressure into the palms and sit your hips all the way back towards your heels. This is child's pose, a beautiful counter stretch for any back bend that you practice. So thank you so much for joining us today. In yoga, we say the best in me bows to the best in you. Namaste.